Just a camouflage little pancake right there. Very cool. What a beautiful snake. YouTube. Hope you guys are great. I am driving a road south of San Antonio. Gonna do a bit of road cruising this evening. You know, as much as this vlog is about finding snakes and herping, it's also a little bit about my life and I do feel like it wouldn't be right to proceed without sharing some news to y'all. Um, my baby boy Kai, who's been in several videos, uh, just found out this week that he has cancer and you know that was tough news to hear. But uh, yeah, I'm hoping that it's a positive road from here on out, at least as positive as it can be. And if any of you want to send some good vibes to Kai, please do so in the comments. I know he'd love to read that. Well guys, I came to an abrupt stop. Because I just saw this little guy in the road. Snake number one, a young Aatrox. Very cool start to the night. <laughs> Gotta be careful when I step off the road to try and take a look at this guy. But just a camouflage little pancake right there. Very cool. Really neat. All right, I'm gonna get to cruising because it looks like snakes are on the road. A little lizard just flew across the road and I don't know if I'm in range of Texas horned lizards, but that's definitely a species that I'd love to see. I'm not like a huge lizard guy. Definitely like them, but that's absolutely one that I'm really, really wanting to find. Got a little snake on the side of the road here, guys. Let's go check it out. I believe we've got a little Aatrox. Oh, unfortunately, it's been hit. Unfortunately, let me move this off the road. Got a snake crossing the road here. It is alive. Looks like an Aatrox. Let's go check it out. An Aatrox indeed. A little larger than the last two that we saw, but still just a young one. Again, these are the largest venomous snake in Texas. You can get up of upwards of six, I think even seven feet maybe as a record, but that's obviously super, super unheard of. This one's just a juvenile, probably a couple years old maybe. Just barely hear that rattle. Have a look at that defensive posture sizing me up with its tongue and those thermal pits at the front of its face very very beautiful snake and this one is on high alert it's probably 85 degrees I'd say and semi humid so in these conditions this snakes definitely going to be very active very very beautiful all right let's get this one off the road Come on, buddy. Go on. Go that way. No, nope, you're going the wrong way. <laughs> Other way, buddy. There you go. Keep going. Ah. <laughs> oh, that one just bit on my hook. There you go, buddy. Off this road. There you go. There you go. Disappear. Got a very large tarantula on the side of the road. Very leggy individual. Ooh, look at you. First one of these tonight. Probably will see several. Yeah, this is a nice size individual. Put my hand. I'm not putting it on the ground, but <laughs> I would guess that from foot to foot is like a, a four, five inch spider. Very cool though. Always happy to find these guys. Gonna get on the road now. Got another tarantula, guys. This one looks to be more female in anatomy, but it's really hard to tell without being an expert, and that I am not. But it just seems a lot leggy, less leggy than the last one. Really cool, I don't know what it's doing. It's just doing laps. Interesting individual. I'm not gonna get out for this one, but we've got tarantula number three crossing the road. Tarantula number four, right there. Crossing ever so slowly. Oh my God, guys. Look what we've got here. Oh no, it's been hit. This would have been my lifer and this is what I was talking about earlier. 
Texas horned lizard. So unfortunate. I'm gonna get this fella off the road. Darn. Oh. We've got a snake in the road. I think it's a longnose snake. Hopefully it has not been hit. Oh, f Yep, run over right on the head. At least this one died probably instantly. Unfortunate to see though. These snakes are moving. Well, they were moving. We have a snake in the road right here, y'all. Right there. Got another Aatrox. Similar size, actually, to maybe the second one that we saw. So a little larger than the first one. I'm gonna just get it off the side of the road. Not sure how busy that this roadway is because I've actually never herped it. So let's get you over here, buddy. All right, made it to the side of the road. Get a good look at this fella. Really beautifully patterned. Got maybe four buttons on that rattle. Again, I would guess something this size is probably two years old or so. Maybe a little less. Kind of hard to say. Just love these things though. This one's nice and chill. Doesn't give a damn about me. There were some cars coming in. For safety's sake, I went ahead and cut my time short with the snake. Looks like I might have saved its life though, because it was moving slowly across that road before I intervened, so we'll call it a win. Got a snake, guys. If it's not a rattlesnake, it's something we can touch. <laughs> if it lets me. This is a longnose snake. Rhinocelius Leconti. These things are an absolute gem of the desert. And you can see right here, that blood. It's not injured or anything like that. Part of their defense mechanism is to release blood from their cloaca along with some musk. It's kind of like a playing dead defense mechanism. So what an interesting little fella. I love these snakes. This one's quite red and beautiful. Happy to find something alive and something that I can touch. <laughs> it's always kind of frustrating when every snake you have to move off the road with a hook. What a beautiful snake. Just love these tri-colored little guys. Again, the long-nosed snake, and you can kind of see where it gets its name. These guys generally are using that nose to bury around in the substrate. They'll come up to the surface at night and hunt for lizards, and that's probably what this little fellow's doing. So I'm going to encourage it off this dirt road, which I have not seen another car on yet, but I'd like for it to just go and explore elsewhere. Thank y'all so much for tuning into this video. Feel free to say hi in the comments and don't forget to subscribe if you want to catch what's coming up next.